Blimey now, I have a lot of stuff. That's not all of it. More stuff, it's never ending. The good stuff. Finally done and dusted and all packed, ready to go. Iron Man Luxembourg, here we come. And if you haven't noticed, yes, I'm camping. And that is a bloody first. So here we are, Friday afternoon, and we are heading down to Folkestone to catch a shuttle. And then we've got about a four and a half hour drive to Remick, which is where the race is happening, which is just outside Luxembourg City. Um, now I've had this race on the radar for a couple of years, and the reason I thought of doing it is because I think it's doable in the car. Um, it's not a long drive from Calais really, and it's pretty nice driving on the continent. And you know, the good thing about the car is you can just chuck all your stuff in, the bike on the back, your bags, everything. You don't have to worry about airports, you don't have to worry about getting to the airport, you don't have to worry about bike boxes. Hence my thinking why this is a doable race in the car um, and why I'm doing it. So Danny, why are you camping? You're not a camper, why are you camping? Um, quite simple really logistics this race uh, I think in terms of accommodation it's difficult to get there's probably three hotels in the vicinity and every time I've tried they've been fully booked I mean there's one I managed to get but it's not close really it's another 25 minutes away from the race venue so yeah that's the only thing uh, the last couple of years I've had to consider is how and where am I going to stay Hence the camping. Now, I'm not totally new to camping. I'm not totally a novice. I have done it in the past. Uh, I do have gear, which I just kept. The only thing I really had to purchase was a tent. And I, I picked a nice one up last year. Um, and then, yeah, myself and Isabel, we've done a little bit of camping in the garden last year just to test some bits out. I've got some creature comforts, some luxuries with me a nice electric fridge, that kind of thing, so I'll have power. So I'm not totally roughing it, um, but it will be an experience, and it will be an experience doing an Ironman camping for a couple of days. How I get on, I don't know, but you know what? It's a bit of an adventure, isn't it? So let's bring it on. <laughs> on the train and that was a mission getting through all of that really really busy for some reason and that's Friday but I didn't expect it to be that busy but now I should have time to get there uh, I think it closes check out check-in is until 7 30 so according to my sat nav I should be there by 25 6 hopefully So this is the humble abode for the next couple of days. I don't know if you're going to see inside, but 
let's take you on a tour of the crib. Just put the light on so you can see. So yeah, I'm pretty much set up. There's the bed arrangement. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty spacious in here. A couple of bags. I'm not fully set up. Little table for all my belongings. Um, yeah, and I'm not, I'm not roughing it. So I've got my electricity there. All my food items where I'll cook and stuff like that. Here's my little fridge, really good. Nice camp chair. And you can see I've put a little awning on as well. Give me a little bit of privacy, but also um, a bit of shade from the sun and that kind of thing. So, that's kind of me set up. And, well, I'm gonna work out which best way is to, I'm gonna eat, it's dinner time. Bit of a nightmare journey here, so. Um, yeah, Belgium was crap, really. The motorways were rubbish. And I've just had someone arrive next to me. I'm actually in the caravan in the field because the tent field was so full. There's a lot of people in here doing the Ironman this weekend. And they moved me, which is fine. Um, yeah, I need to eat. I need to eat. And uh, before it gets too dark, so I can't bloody see. But I've got lots of lights, so let's get on with that. So here we are in the crib. It's pretty quiet on the campsite. There's a few campers out there doing some bits and pieces, just eating still on that. Um, but it is, oh, it's 11 o'clock nearly. Um, I'm about to retire, I think. I'm gonna do a little bit of, well, not editing, but I'm gonna take the footage off from today. But, yep, there's me in the little office, as you can see. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed part one. If you're new around here, do hit the sub button and I will see you in part two.